What's up guys, something funny back with another video. Today I'm gonna be doing a little um goldie video. And yeah, alright. So this is the stuff that you may need. A soccer ball of course, aka football, um gloves and a goldie short and cleats. I am right now doing this in my socks. I never teach Goldie Chang before, so if this is a little weird, I'm so sorry, right? I suppose the thing I'm gonna do is just get kind of so let's just do something quick. So, say you catch a highball and be low over your chest so it's over right here okay right here then you go on to catch it diamond shape but if it's not below your chest so here here and bottom going down you just want to do that so now let's try that it like that, so let's do it. Alright, so so see right there, it was over my chest, so I'm going to do kind of like a diamond formation. And that one was in the best diamond formation because my hands were kind of underneath the ball. You do not want your hands underneath the ball. See, that one was better. And then now, see that one was below my chest, but I'm gonna kind of bring it back up to my chest just a little bit. Alright, so that's one. Two is you want to learn how to dive for it. Now this one is where the long sleeve goalie shorts come in handy. There's another, another goalie on my team. She has short sleeves, and she likes the short sleeve. I like the long sleeve. But so you can get any kind of goalie jersey you want. And it just has to be a different color than your two, than your team's colors. So it can mean like, if your team's colors are black and white, it can be like green, blue, pink, yellow, or purple. What? Any color you want. Alright, so now we're gonna learn how to dive. And I got these pads here that basically. Do nothing because this is a little bit too big for me. But hey, alright. So when you die, you kind of want. Alright, so just keep an eye. When you dive, you want to like, keep an eye on the ball. When you dive, you want to keep an eye on your ball. And that would still be a save. But it will not be a. It will not be a good dive, and that one was actually kind of risky. But I still had position on it, and also you do kind of want to kind of do a diamond formation like that. But you kind of want it on like the sides of it. And then you want to push. So, so you guys do that, and I'll do it again. All right. See, see. Look. 
that was good. If you did it sort of like that, you would get a pass. And I was gonna do it one more time, but instead of going this way, I'm gonna go that way. So now I'm gonna have it there. And see, remember technique. And then you do wanna keep your eye on the ball. Three, two, one. And you kind of wanna, um, so you kind of wanna slide. So if you have pads on your goalie shirt, that's amazing. You kind of want to slide on those pads, but they get a goalie shirt and they don't. Or you just have to, you, you're wearing a penny when you're goalie. You kind of, you kind of want to slide on your shoulder, like right here. But not that much. So you kind of want to slide. So the pads will be right on your elbow. So you kind of want to slide right on your elbow and to right here. And then now you have this. When you get all those steps, you will now have this. Oh God. So, that's the art of diving. And now, so, we're gonna head into goal kicks. I am a person who is not that good at goal kicks. So, if this turns out bad for you guys and you follow my steps, I'm sorry. So, it goes out of bounds and the ref says, it's a goal kick and your coach says, Oh, fine, you take it, or whatever your name is. He or she says, you take it. So, then, if you run out on the right side, this side, right? It would, you would put it on the goalie box on the right. Run on left, put on goalie box on left. Let's do it on right. And so, for here, you kind of want your foot your plant foot so if you kick with your left you're gonna kick with your left kick with your right so if you kick with your right you can plant your left foot which is your plant foot so you're gonna run up and put it about like five ten inches away so you're gonna run up five, ten inches away. And then you're gonna have this knee bent a little bit. And then you're gonna kinda look down at it and then hit it with this muscle right here near your big toe. And then grab this. I'm not actually gonna kick it. You know what, I will kick it. Gonna kick it at my chair. Three, two, one. So that's how you do it, a goal kick. But um you don't maybe want to go up in the air way more farther. I am not doing it on the field, I'm doing it in my bedroom. And if you're wondering, <laughs> why can't you just do it in your front yard? I did not think about it. I am not redoing this video. So next is punts. Now I myself pretty good with punts. And so let's do it. So when you punt, you want to like you dive, catch it, whatever you need to do to get it. And then you walk or run up to the round eye, like kind of like goalies sometimes like to walk. I sometimes like to jog. And then you grab your kicking foot. So left, punch it with left. 
right? Until it's right. So I'm right footed. So I'm gonna punt it with my right, okay? So, and if you're double footed, whatever foot you want. And so, then I'm gonna punt it, and you kind of want it to say you're wearing cleats. You want it to, you want the ball to go, go off your laces about like right here. So when you throw up and when you throw the ball up in the air and then you kick it, you're gonna want to kick it right on the laces. It's basically like a juggle, but more powerful. So like, so it's like that. Or you can do it like, so it's basically a juggle, but So yeah, like that. And hopefully you guys saw it. And I'm gonna know one more time. Yeah. So you're gonna wanna go off your laces. I'm cute. Okay. So you're gonna wanna go off your laces. Mm. You need to get high on. You're gonna wanna go off your laces. You heard that? Mm -hmm. That's how you do it. And now, now I basically got you ready. Oh yeah, one more thing. Um, you're gonna. You need to know when to come out of your box. So, say a striker from another team, a forward from another team, is coming at you as Gordy. Right? Instead of just staying in a little box like a hornet crab, you kind of want to um, go up to he or she and just go up, kind of, and kind of go up to the. Get them like, you're not gonna want to get your legs in a position where they can just meg you. You're gonna want to like, kind of go like this a little bit. And then if they do try to meg you, you know what you can do? This one's kind of scary, but so you go up to them, and they try to meg you and the ball's almost going through your legs. Do that. So how you do that is you bring your legs and you kind of like put them, um, you bring them in and then you just fall on your two knees. That's how you stop the leg. And the very last thing is get something to massage. You get something good to get out all of your cramps before game. So that can, can be this for back, leg, whatever. Or it, what I like to call the bat. So this is basically just hold on to the side and boom. The, I use this after my games sometimes, or before I have a game. Or you can just use this for your back. Now there's one other thing that I can show you to help you with your back. Is one other thing? So this is that thing you can do if you 
if your back hurts. So you just get one of this, this, and then make sure it's plugged in. And then if you're right after a cold game, so you turn it on, right? Turn on. And then heat. And then this is like paradise. So that's called keeper tips.